Well, good morning, everybody. Hello. Welcome back to Shooting the Sheet with the Smiths. Hope everybody has had a productive and fine Tuesday morning on a Tuesday. <laughs> we have uh, talked about what we want to get rolling today, and Lissa would like to get her plants in the ground, get some beautifying going, and we got a little bit of updating to tell you what's been happening, because I know we haven't talked to you in a while. Um, I would like to say that us, I wonder if our camera is just a little dark or if it's just focusing. There we go. Got to get that auto focus. <laughs> um, something you look rough this morning. Yeah. Oh, you look beautiful, my queen. I think it's because, there we go. It's just the angle. It's the angle <laughs> of the bangle. Yeah. Um, yesterday, something huge and exciting happened on Dreamers Landing. Actually, it happened on Drifters Lane. And if you are not subscribed to our vlog channel, Dreaming with Drifters, you missed it. And it's not going to be posted here on DD5. You are going to have to go over there to Dreaming with Drifters. I'll put the tag in the description and even put it right there, I believe. You guys can go over there and check that out and see what happened to the road. We are going to show you and give you a looky look to let you see what happened, but you're not going to see the action without going over there. But... My queen, what are we going to be started with today? I'm going to plant some of my plants right here around the stump with the big crystal on it. Ah, check this out. And so we're going to do the... These, we're going to do these purple ones first. Now, Lissa has already started over here. These purple ones are called... Purple queens. Purple queen, if we can ever... There we go. Purple queen. And we have had uh, these plants before in Florida, right? Yes. These are one of my favorite plants. You know why? Why? Because they're so hard to kill. <laughs> I I would love to have like a green thumb. And I don't really have one. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I try. <laughs> And Lissa did remember to crunch up the root ball before she I put did. it in. Thanks for all the good tips. Yes. These are, it smells so good over here. I smell these roses. <laughs> That's actually my first rose bush I've ever owned. First rose bush Lissa's ever owned. She, we have got her lots of roses, but never the full bush. This is the pink double knockout rose bush. And these are all the plants, well, some of the plants that Lissa bought Saturday after our race. Which or, you guys can view that on the March review. It will be coming out. You guys should see the March review, what, tomorrow? I hope so. It really depends on how this backup computer is going to handle. Right. And at... I, 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 uh, oh, I did want to uh, just say real fast that uh, I do apologize for all the wind. It is a really windy day, but we're going to be out here giving it to you guys one way or the other. Go ahead, baby. Um, we're still having computer issues, and the computer guy is supposed to come out here today after a very not happy phone call yesterday we made. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> um, but, and still... Until then, Uncle David was kind enough to let me use his older computer that he has. And I can do things on it. It's just, it's still frustrating, guys. <laughs> it runs slow. There was a reason why it's... He got Uncle a new Uncle David one. doesn't use it anymore. Right. So, but I'm just being grateful that I, you know, can at least do something for you guys. It's just taking a little longer. Yeah. Is all. You did a, did a nice looking job right here okay. on that Purple Queen. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, and if you are not subscribed to Dreaming with Drifters, uh, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, guys. Uh, for you guys who are not subscribed to Dreaming with Drifters, we, uh, we did go to Fort Smith on Saturday because I had, a, a race that I participated in. You want to watch Lissa wield these things? You're going to be able to wield those things? That's a, that's a pretty heavy piece of... Bam! You can do it, Lissa. Sorry, I squirreled off. Um, 
where was I? Oh, the 5K, yes. So I did go to Fort Smith, and I participated in a 5K race. Uh, this was, I believe, called the First Choice Pregnancy uh, 5K out of Fort Smith. And um, there was 147 race participants. And my goal was to finish under 30 minutes, or at least 30 minutes. And uh, I actually ended up placing... 27th position out of 147 that's pretty good you did good guys for not running in such a long time right <laughs> and i did meet my goal um i i think i timed out at like 27 minutes and 40 seconds or so something like that so that made me really happy and that's when we got the flowers after we left the race we stopped over at lowe's and lissa Picked out some really nice flowers. It's kind of muddy. Yeah. Well, we got that uh, miracle grow. Do you wanna you wanna use that? I'm gonna go get that. I'll use some of that. Yes. All right. Hold on one second. I'm gonna gonna put you guys up right here. Oh. Try not to shake your around. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Lissa down. All right, I'm gonna leave y'all with Lissa real fast. If I can quit shaking you up, I'll be right back. I tried to get plants that would do good in this area, guys. It gets real sunny here. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how I did on picking the flowers. <laughs> Hold. Hold. Here you go. Let's do a. Throw it down there. Let me set you up right here. What was I saying? Oh. Yep. After. Uh, after the 5K, we went to Lowe's. Lissa picked out these flowers, got her some roses. Those are pretty cool too. Those are called purple hyants or something like that. They look they look like little purple pine cones or really nice, like a purplish blue in a way. Uh, Lissa, you know you know what I call that color? Blurple. Blurple. <laughs> And then after we bought these plants, what did we do after that? Did we go shopping first for Easter outfits or did we go eat? Shopping first. Mm, yep. We went and bought some clothes. I actually got a pretty cool uh, Nickelodeon. I got two Nickelodeon shirts um, to go with some really cool like blue shorts type deal. Everybody got some clothes. Um, Talent ended up actually not going. Oh, oh, more action. Get it. it gave me a really good idea so I'm trying to think how big I want it to be what's that oh wait oh what you were just talking about earlier yeah. well you can always you know dig them up and move stuff around Ooh. oh that sounded like a root or a rock <laughs> Yeah, Talon ended up not joining us on our on our Saturday adventure. He wanted to stay home. And that's when uh, we also got our haircuts. Me and Jacob got a little trim. Don't wear his haircut too. Mm -hmm. Little trim. Got him got him got my ears lowered. It's just got a little beard daddy trim. Gets to do it. Here you baby. I said don't worry guys, Talon's gonna get his haircut too. It's just now daddy gets to do it. Yep. We gave him an opportunity to come let the barber shop cut it. He said he didn't want to go. So I said, well, if you're not going to go, you're not going to be able to get anything that we buy, and you're not going to get anything that we eat, you're going to miss out. But he didn't want to go. From there... What are you going to do today, dear? Why I try to edit through the 
March review. <laughs> you want to know what I'm going to do? You don't want to know what I'm going to do, Alyssa. I'm going to be working on that thing. You know what thing. <laughs> <laughs> the Good. thing we shall not say. Uh, man. <laughs> Gonna be working on the dog fence. <laughs> nope. Oh no, now you done put more of the pressure on us. <laughs> <sighs> nope, it is not finished yet, but it is so close, so close. My purple queen, putting the purple queen in the ground. <laughs> oh, Alyssa, tell everybody what happened at 3.30 this morning? <laughs> the dog started going crazy inside the camper because they heard something outside. And when Michael went to check, there was a, a possum yep. sitting on our white table by the front door. <laughs> and what he was trying to get into, thankfully he couldn't get into it because that would have been horrible. Yep. Um, it was some uh, rat poison, some rat, well, it was some rat bait. Right. So we did put that up. Don't worry, guys. That's no longer just out where it was. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't just out. It was up away from kids yeah. and everything. It's just the pots found it. So it's moved again. Odin and Halo were trying to rip the door down to get to that possum. Yeah. Halo was... <laughs> Halo was sitting on the couch looking out the window trying to get to that possum. Which makes me feel good, you know? Intruder alert. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to give everybody a good view here. <laughs> You're doing a spectacular job. Oh, thanks. If I wasn't recording and you weren't right here... I would be meditating while I was doing this. Mm. But not this channel. <laughs> we actually did some meditation on Easter. We did. We uh we sat right over yonder behind Lissa, actually not too far away from where that grill is sitting, where the Blackstone is. And um we sat there and looked at the mountain and had some quiet time and some meditation and just talked about stuff that, uh, you know, like family things, about things we wanted to do and ways we wanted to better ourselves and what we could do to do such things. I thought it was a good family time. Looking in at some of our own shadows and taking some accountability for them and yep. making the conscious decision to make better, better decisions and choices. I think it's really important that people learn to take accountability for their own actions and thoughts and opinions and feelings and because that's the, when we take accountability it's easier to decide that you know that's not what we want and we we want to do better right it helps us make that change right you're hitting the root right there too. I think so too. Do you want me to get the saws off? I'll cut. I'll cut that root. Or do you want to just move well, the hole? You can try somewhere. I want to try to put the rose bush somewhere right here if we can. But yeah. it has to be a little deep. Yeah. Um. Well, to get something that deep, we're gonna probably need assistance. Unless you just want me to do it. You can. All right. Try. I'll give it a shot. Let's give it a try. If you can't, it's no big deal. I'm thinking about going and getting the auger. <laughs> <laughs> I also got some rosemary, guys. This is going to stay in the in this pot. I think I might do something later on this pot, like paint something on it. Oh, the roots of death. Oh, I might have hit a spot.
It's just because we're doing it around this tree stump. That's why there's so many roots. Yeah. I found a little spot in between. You know, our friends Anthony and Roxanne over at Country Road Care, not too long ago, just built a, a really nice uh, little pen for their dogs and everything. And all of their posts they've put out in front for their garden. Anthony told me that he dug almost every single one of those holes just with post hole diggers. <laughs> I was like, dang, my little arms ain't got it. My boy over there got some guns. Oh, Auntie's got some guns. I, that's a lot of post holing with these rocks and roots. <laughs> Just a lot of post holing with this clay. I'm trying to get the the dirt off the clay or the the dirt. I'm trying to get the dirt off the clay. <laughs> trying to get the clay off the post hole diggers. trying to keep the keep it in there how deep are we trying to make this that's good <laughs> i just hope it's wide enough i don't know if it's going to be wide we um <laughs> you could always you know like crunch it up a little bit you know or I could, I could maybe go look. I could maybe go like more that way. Uh oh, here it comes. I'm just seeing if it fits in the hole, guys. It's not wide enough. You want me to go get the hammer? Well, if it doesn't fit, we'll get a bigger hammer. <laughs> Odin, try not to use the bathroom on camera this time. Everybody tells us when you do it. Odin back there. That's not too bad, huh, baby? No, when you hear me, the potting. Look at that. That ain't bad. Hear the birds? Yeah. Squirrels. Plant them roses, Lissa. Plant them roses. Mm -hmm. You look good planting them roses. Lissa, things are getting deep now. <laughs> things have been deep a long time. <laughs> Although it's deep, we keep on drifting. That's right. What you thinking? Hmm? What are you thinking? Looks good. Are you going to be planting anything else? Um, I was going to do those. Okay. But if we're running, we're fine. Time.
Oh, I can, uh, can I go uh, show them? Well, they can kind of already see it. I didn't show them. Have we showed them what we bought? I don't think so. I don't think we've showed them that. Go show them. Oh, look at that. What, look at, oh, what's on, what's that right there? Did you see what was on the porch? We made a purchase, what was that, last week? Yeah. We made a purchase last week. Um, something to help us really can uh, not have to go back to the store so much because we have to go shopping at least once a week to go get meats and groceries and stuff like that. And uh, I know it's been really windy uh, last night, so things are kind of blowed down a little bit. But look at this. Ba, 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 ba. New freezer. Uh, the Hisense, which one is this? Five cubic feet, it's upside down. Here, let me turn you guys, let me, whoop, now we can see it. Hisense, five cubic feet chest freezer. Whoop. I didn't want you to be upside down too long. I know that blood will start rushing up to the head. <laughs> um, but yeah, we did go ahead and get us a new freezer. We got some some good groceries in there we do have the small EcoFlow river 2 pro and that is what we uh, use to power that freezer out here uh, until i get the rest of the electric and everything ran for the shouse and the uh the solar and everything ran for this shouse we live right off those portable power banks that you always see us promoting oh listen and work it up work it up Lissa. work it up the kids actually sat over there on those steps on Easter uh, and did some crafts. They did a little painting and made some stuff. And then we sat out here and played some kickball. We had a good time. I also was on the on the Blackstone over there. Made some pork chops. Which were delicious. Thank you. I do have gardening gloves, guys. It's just, I like the the way my fingers feel in the dirt. <laughs> hey, it's it's hard to ground with the earth, Lissa, if you're not touching the ground. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at my boy back there in the background, Halo. Uh-oh. Here comes these purple ones. My blurples. These are my blurples. Hey, and I do want to take the time right now uh, to give a shout out to my new favorite YouTube channel right now. Um, I know you might have heard me talk about him before, and if you haven't, check him out in the description. I'm also going to try to remember to put his link right here at the top of the screen somewhere. His name's Kadrian. He's a very, very enlightened young man. This guy right here is at a young age of 18 years old and he has some really really positive things to say he has an a, outlook uh, yeah he has an amazing outlook on life and you know what sometimes it sometimes it just takes something you know to flip that switch in us to really change how we're feeling and how our outlook on life is and he has found a way to do it at a really young age of 18 and um I found his YouTube channel through Facebook, uh, through a mutual friend of ours. <laughs> Big shout out to uh, to Virginia. Hey, Virginia! Virginia and Dion, they're some really good friends of ours down in Florida. Um, but they had did a Facebook post of Kadrian, of his YouTube channel. And, um, and so I started watching some of his videos. And so for the whole entire month of April, um, we've been doing this for since January back in January we put on uh, we've been promoting different channels uh smaller channels back in January we started with our friends uh, <laughs> Dave and Sammy with Goat Days um and then we followed up February um who who was who did I forgot baby who we uh did in February um, I'm no, we did February, uh, or works in March. We did our friends or works little field in March. Maybe it was goat days that we did in February. I can't remember, but the point of all that 
is in the at the end of this video you're going to see something called the end screen and that's an opportunity for you to click on one of the icons to subscribe on the channel and if you're not subscribed to drifting dreamers 5 give us a subscribe a thumbs up and share the channel out it'll really help the algorithm and push us um but yeah so i've been watching kadrian now and he just does a really amazing job He's been working very, very hard on his channel. He just keeps putting out content. And no matter what this guy goes through, he's got such a positive outlook on life. Check out the video that I've got posted right here on the end screen. Go over to his channel. If you like it, subscribe to him. Check him out. If you don't like it, that's okay. We like it. And we are going to be promoting him the whole month of April. And you know what I like about this, Lissa? Is that the people that we promote don't even know we're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you going full dig this morning. Full on dig. Need to start the vibe and get the motor running. I haven't started the vibe over there since the day I tried to use the battery to crank old lift and killed the battery. Yeah, the poor vibe has been for a while. Hey, you know what though? I bet you could drive the vibe right off the mountain. I bet the creek the creek is low enough right now, and, and the driveway is probably good enough to get the car across. Speaking of driveway, do you want me to go ahead and show them a little little something something on the driveway? Yeah, I'm gonna finish it. All right, while well, Lissa finished digging that right there, I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek on what it looks like. Remember, the only way to see the action of the rock truck coming and dumping this three inch rock is over on our vlog channel dreaming with drifters if you haven't subscribed to that channel subscribe go check it out but i am very thankful and very amazed on how the corduroy road is doing check this out mm. look at all that rock the rock used to not start here the rock used to start way up there where the corduroy road was but now we have another dump truck came, dropped us off some of this good three inch. This is what, it's three inch rock. Some of them are a little bigger, some of them are a little smaller, but I would say the average is probably somewhere around three inches. Look at that Pepsi bottle, that Pepsi bottle came out of the truck too. So now, the, ro uh, the rock used to start right here. And uh, this is the ruts from the truck that backed in. We got to rake it, get it over there a little bit, fill it in. Look at this. And you're going to be shocked and surprised to see that it even goes further. Once again... If you're still hanging out with us, I apologize about the wind. It's a really windy day. Oh, it looks like we got a looks like we got a guy floating to the top. This guy done floated his way to the top. I'll be putting that back there in a little bit. And don't worry, the water hose didn't get buried. Look at that, the rock just continues. It continues down here to this other area, which was where I used to park the truck. This was the last place that I got old Betsy stuck, was right down here. You can see we got that, that good creek water filled up in there. I do, ooh. Don't roll your ankle on the rock. We do still need to get that painted black. But look at here. Here's the rest of the rock. Nice base that goes all the way down. Now anywhere on the road that we'll be able to pick it up a little bit, fill in those holes. No more muddy spots. I'm super excited about that. I'm gonna go ahead and throw you in a pause. Oh, excuse me. Um, I'm gonna walk down this road again. I'm gonna bring you back. Show you what Liz is up to. Hold on. Sneak peek. Sneak peek. Sneak peek. <laughs> sneak peek. 
We do got a little mud right here too that needs to be addressed. Oh, good stretch. Good stretch. Look at that undercoat. You need brushed. You need brushed. How you doing over here, my queen? I'm pretty good. Got one more. What, what'd you do? You just got the pink one in? Yeah. Those look nice. Uh oh, is that the last one you're doing? Yeah. Okay. What were those pink ones called? Um here we go. Di Dianthus? Dianthus. Lissa, hmm. can you dig it? Can you dig it? <laughs> I would like to point out that I would have dug all these holes for her, but Lissa wanted to dig the holes and plant these plants. <laughs> I just don't want anybody feeling like I'm a bad husband. Or a bad man for not digging Lissa's holes. Okay, my love. So, like, muddy down there. <laughs> like, it's, you see it? Got a wet hole. <laughs> Say what? So I'm just trying to mix the dirt and the soil. Oh, right. We were supposed to get a chance of rain last night, but it blew on by. We do have a small percentage chance of rain, but I think it's only about 15% chance. And then we're supposed to have sunny skies for the rest of the week, actually. Is that it? That's it. That's it. Woohoo! Good job, my queen. Let me go through and kind of up the loose dirt a little bit. Yeah. So here's a an overview. Got all of our got all of our plants dug. Plants dug. Plants planted. All right. So out of all these plants if you would be ever so kind to drop it in the comment which one of these plants are your favorite that Lissa planted which one do you think looks the best these ones in the pot I don't they don't come back <laughs> they're in I've never bought these before but they seemed really cool it's called ready refill ready refill and literally just put it in the pot Hmm. Yeah, this says uh, what is a spring, just a spring, small decade. Yeah, okay. so eventually these will probably die off, but uh, that's okay. Yeah. They're pretty for now. I do want to say thank you so much for hanging out with us for this 35 minutes. Didn't expect a... Uh, to hang out so long today but we ain't seen y'all in a while thought we'd say how's it going how's your mama how's your family now thank you for having patience with us <laughs> march was
March was a, it wasn't like a horrible month, but it was, it was a slow going month. Yeah. I guess I would I could say. S a slow rolling month. Slow rolling. <laughs> you see that? Like just chunks of it. I think the camera keeps going to to like a low light mode a little bit because I have it on the extra stability because I was walking around. Mm. Looks fabulous. <clears throat> so Uncle David gave me a really good idea this morning. He was down here. He said, you know, I think you need some water over here. Like a fountain or some sort. Mm. So he gave me an idea. And we'll work on doing that. <laughs> we work on doing that. <laughs> but I think I'm going to put it like somewhere in this area. Right. Oh, something with like a reciprocating pump or something. Right. And then like the water like runs down the crystal, you know. Mmm. Okay. And see like a little makeshift pond right here. Hmm. But not in the ground, like in a like a container of some sort down here, you know? We can right, 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 right. I see it. Sorry, I was back here taking pictures of you. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. <sighs> on a windy day like today. You know how the song goes. On a Tuesday. <laughs> Can't take a shower. <laughs> I love it. Well, while Lissa goes and gets cleaned up, I'm going to go around here and get back to work on this fence. I'll be so glad when this is over. And just imagine, it's only a temporary home for the doggies because once we get the rest of the house built behind us, it'll all be back there. Yep. And another dog run <laughs> for another time. <laughs> Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. You can catch a little bit more if you want to hang out with us. We're going to be doing a Dreaming with Drifters here in a little while. You want to hear us talk a little bit more today. Show you what's happening. <laughs> we'll catch you guys in the next one. I really do appreciate you following us. Don't forget to go over and check out our friend Kadrian. Got something to say? You might just want to hear it. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Keep on following your dreams. You know we're gonna follow ours. Remember, if you can dream it, you can drift it. Bye. Bye. Pink double knockout.